Hello, I'm Dr. Priya Kadam, Director of Reproductive uh, Genomics at MedGenome. So, um, every pregnancy or every individual desires for a normal pregnancy and a normal child. Uh, so, there are a certain, unfortunately, in some situations, about 1-2% to 2 of the cases, there may be certain abnormalities present at conception. So all societies, genetic testing societies, as well as uh, obstetric societies recommend that some sort of uh, screening should be offered to all pregnant women to identify these abnormalities. Now, um, so there are screening tests which talk of the risk, whether it is a high risk pregnancy or a low risk pregnancy, and there are diagnostic tests. So as such, a screening test should be offered to all pregnant women to identify common abnormalities such as Down syndrome, Edwards syndrome, that is trisomy 13, trisomy 18. Uh, these abnormalities can be ruled out by tests such as non-invasive prenatal screening, uh, maternal serum screening, and of course, um, ultrasound suspicion when there is an abnormality, screening test can be offered. But once a screening test turns out to be high risk and then it is necessary that the fetus be tested to identify or definitely diagnose the abnormality. So once a diagnostic test is performed, the procedures of course are through amniocentesis or chorionicullus biopsy when a fetal sample may be taken to understand the abnormality. So once it comes to diagnostic testing, you would want uh, I mean, the common quick tests are of course FISH and QF-PCR which will identify common abnormalities like Down syndrome again. And then there are other tests which look at whole genome uh, such as uh, uh, chromosomal microarray, there is low pass whole genome sequencing such as CarioSeq which again looks for copy number variations which might be present in about 1-2% to of pregnancies and then uh, uh, further testing would be sequencing which would be exome sequencing or trioexome sequencing and this is actually more applicable in cases where there may be a family history of genetic disorder or there may be a previously affected child in a pregnancy so that's when a carrier screening might have been offered or done with the couple and then the uh, fetus is tested to see whether it is carrying any of those uh, uh, abnormalities now why this uh, testing is required is because these are severe disorders many may not be compatible with life many lead to intellectual disabilities or severe abnormalities in the child so that's why it's recommended that every pregnancy be offered these tests. Very important aspect of genetic testing is actually genetic counseling because patients have to understand what are the tests, what are the possibility of the abnormalities and what the tests can offer you. And also once the test results come, what might be the uh, next course of action? in terms of uh, uh, continuing the pregnancy and also what will be the impact on the baby if they have this specific disorder. So genetic counselling is extremely essential both at a pre-test level as well as post-test level. Thank you.